Hello there, Scorpio. Welcome to your December love reading 2022. Now, I've made several attempts to do this um, video for you guys, this reading, and I'm just, um, <laughs> I'm not having a good time of it. So hopefully I can get it done this time. Okay, so please bear with me. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, this is your side, this is your person's side, and then right in the middle, we're going to do the combination of the two of you guys. So, how do you feel about them? Let's see. How do you feel about them? Okay, I think you want to get a message soon. Ooh, and you want to do this quickly. Wow. Look at all those court cards coming up. Oof. You really, you want justice here. You really want to talk to them too. Okay, so page of wands. Let me put these out first. If the Page of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so let's get a charm for the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Some this is definitely some kind of message. And this one, I don't know, do they monkey around? We have a monkey here. May they fool around a lot, or they're a kidder, or um, may they play jokes. That's what I get for the monkey. Because the monkeys, I mean, you ever see the monkeys at the zoo and stuff? They're always doing something. They're always up to something. So, and they're like little kids. But, of course, we have two pages here. Okay, so now we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords comes in really fast. And the Knight of Swords has I can, I can do it attitude. So, um, we have a bike here. So, yeah, so someone might be traveling here. The bike could represent any kind of vehicle, any kind of transportation. So someone has to travel towards you. Or no, you have to travel toward them. How do you feel about them? So you want to go towards them. Ooh. Now for the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have a zombie. So are you trying to bring something back from the dead here? Is that what's going on here? Or is this person, or is this somebody that is on meds or something and they, they feel kind of out of it? Whether it's you or your person. But we do want justice here. Libra energy. Okay, let me try to clarify this now. So you definitely want communication. You want something happening here. You want justice. Okay, let's see. Why do we have the page of wands? We have, oh, we have the queen of cups. Look at all these people coming out. Wow. Okay, okay. You have a lot of love for them. You're probably very intuitive too. And we have, yeah, there's memories here. Very nurturing memories. Um, Queen of Cups. Let's see. Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay. So, yeah, you definitely want to mess with some. You might want to even send a love letter with the Queen of Cups and, <laughs> and the Page of Wands. Ooh, look what came out for the Knight of Swords. We have Judgment, bringing something back around, making a decision here. We have the Hermit, trying to heal something here, going deep within. And we have the Single card, the Independent card, the Nine of Coins. So, I don't think, I think you're... You're doing quite well for yourself here. I think you're healing something. And I think you want to help this person is what I'm getting. Maybe you think they need help or you know they need help. Okay, now, what about this um page of pentacles? Yeah, you want a new beginning. Okay, and then we have the wheel. Wow. Divine timing, destiny. Okay, you, you definitely want this person back in your life. Now, if you don't want this person, this reading is not for you. Don't even bother watching it. Just click right off because this is, you definitely want this, whoever this I'm topping into definitely wants this person. Okay, how do they feel about you? Let's see. How do they feel about you? Oh, they got a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. They're seeing the Three of Cups. They're paying him the Three of Cups. They're not seeing the Two of Cups behind them. Oh, but they, you are their happiness here. They see you as their wish fulfillment. And they want to come rushing into you. Wow. Okay, Cancer Energy. Charging ahead here. Fast movement. This was a painful ending. This person really is very unhappy about this ending. However, it happened here. Okay. Now, let's clarify the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Ooh, yes. They want things to move quick. There's some kind of, between the two of you guys, someone, you might come colliding, collide, collide. See, I'm, I can't even talk. Colliding into each other. I didn't really think about how to say that word. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. All right. That's why the, these readings are, I'm getting a hard time getting them done. They actually been, um, they're kind of long and, very um 
very intense. So they've been uh, taking this toll a little bit here. Okay, and then this person's hanging on to you. They're not going to let go of you. They have no desire to let go of you at all. Oh, yeah, they're, they want to come to you with an offer, hoping you'll take it. They probably figure you have other options. And they see you as a Queen of Cups. I also see you as a Queen of Cups. A male or female doesn't matter. A lot of love, a lot of nurturing here. Okay, but something went wrong. Okay, so now let's go over to you. How you see them. Okay, now let's we'll see how you actually see them. What is your interpretation of them, right? Ooh, Hierophant. May you see them. They might be, um, maybe they're very strict or very organized or very, you know, I'm almost getting like a very conformed type of energy. Okay, now fives are changes. Taurus is the Hierophant. Okay, ooh, a lot of passion though. And you also see them as a Queen of Swords. Maybe they're a little um, strict. I, why do I feel this person seems like you see them as having a lot of passion, a lot of creativity, a lot of desire, but you also see them as very like organized, maybe um maybe kind of strict, but you do see them as honest because Queen of Swords honest, and you see them as very bright. Okay, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with the um, Queen of Swords, and you see them as maybe some kind of closed off too. Is what I'm getting for this card here. I also see, you know, I see them as holding on to you. And I see you seeing them as kind of blocked, closed off. They're, they're like blocking their heart here. I think they're afraid of getting hurt. Okay, let's see. We have here, okay, a seahorse. This means new love coming in. So, and if it hasn't been, if it's been a while since you guys seen each other, and then you reunite, it could be like a new love because they, you guys, you know, we changed so much. Um, over years, so it could be something you guys are both different. You're, you know, especially if you meet someone when you're children, or you know, not say children, but say you're, you're young um, teenagers or young twenties or something like that, and then you meet up again later on in life, you're not going to be the same people. Okay, let's see. What about the hierophant here? What about the hierophant? Ooh, the wheel came up again. Okay, you definitely see them as, you know, your destiny. You want this commitment here. Ooh, Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Hopes and dreams and wishes come true. And see, you see them as hiding stuff, though. There's some kind of mystery here, some kind of secret, something hidden here. Pisces energy. And we have um, also, you might see them I'm getting very good at whatever they do. Like, they really are take their time they do whatever they would do for a living they're very intricate or very precise very I'm seeing precision and they really get into their work they might even get lost if they have workshop they probably go in the workshop and they get lost there they just love it <laughs> okay so now how they see you judgment they also see this coming back around. They feel it. Oh, Ooh. they might be kind of shocked with how they see you. You might be surprising them somehow. There's something that they're not, they didn't expect, or maybe when they see you, um, maybe, they, you know, I'm almost feeling like they, if they, if you guys didn't see each other for a while, they're thinking, wow, you look really good and they haven't seen you forever. Okay. Here's the end here of burdens. Um, you know, trying, they see probably you trying to, you're trying to find your way. They, they might also see you going through a, a, a tough time right now. Maybe going through some kind of judgment with someone. And something shocking happened. And now you're left with all the burdens. It could be like all of a sudden something happened. And everything was left on your shoulders. And they see that. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles. But they see that you can handle it. They also might be seeing you focused on your money. Looking down at your pentacles. Because maybe you have to, you know, juggle money or something. Or else you could be really good at what you do. And they could see you, you know... Growing your money. Okay. So now, let's clarify the judgment card. Why is the judgment card here? Ooh, the Knight of Wands. Okay, they might, they see you as being very passionate. 
Oh, we got two stuck together. What do we have here? Oh, we have the seahorse stuck with the anchor. See now, they see you as marriage material. They see you as um, someone that's stable. No, you're coming. They also see you have a lot of passion, and um, and that you go off quickly after what you want. You don't wait. You move. Okay. Now let's see the page of page of wands, the knight of wands. Yeah, knight of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. What about this tower? Why do we have the tower here? Aries, Scorpio energy with the tower. Why do we have the tower here? Ooh. Some kind of surprise here. They might see, they might, you might be doing really well as far as um, your work. And maybe you're, you're bringing in the money and they're su surprised by that. Or that you get a surprise of money or a commitment somehow. Some, something here happened here. Okay, what about this Ten of Wands? Ooh. Yeah, they see you as a real go-getter. You, you're not afraid to work. You're not afraid to do what you have to do. Here we have the Knight of Swords. And also independent, stable, reliable, balanced, psychic. Get okay, psychic for the cat too. Okay, so now this is the Knight of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Now, they also might see, see you as maybe undecided about something here. Trying to make up your mind about something. Maybe they also fear if they come to you with an offer, you're not going to give them the answer right away. Because you're going to have to know more. Okay, let's see. Lessons you're learning. What are the lessons you're learning? You're learning how to be happy. How to make yourself. And you are focusing on money. That's something that you're learning how to do. And look at this. Wow. Isn't that funny? They uh, they almost feel like they know what you're going through here. Because here we have the Knight of Wands and Knight of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Then we have the Sun. And isn't it funny how the Sun is actually under this Queen of Pentacles? Whoa. That is freaky. <laughs> wow. They're seeing you. And they're seeing what you're learning somehow. They gotta be really watching you or something to know all this. Okay, and look at this. Oh my gosh. Boy, you guys have a serious connection here. I'm getting chills. Oof. Okay, let me get a charm on this Queen of Pentacles. Okay. We have transformation, yes. Wow. And let me um the Queen of Pentacles. Let's see. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Now the Knight of Wands. Um, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Get a charm on this one. Oh, we got two dolphins. Now see? They also see you as very playful, very lovable, a lot of fun to be with. Very intelligent too. I, I know they know that you're very intelligent. Okay, now let's see here. Why do we have the sun card here for the lessons you're learning? So look like you're learning how to focus, be happy, and go after what you want here. You're learning that lesson. And that's the way they see you, too. And also, um, waiting for your harvest, because you put in the work here, and you're just waiting. There's, you're going to be picking your harvest soon. Something's coming in for you. Okay, what about the Queen of Pentacles? Oh. And you're also learning about this beating in your head too much because it's not helping you and you I think you realize that it's not it's not getting anywhere okay what about this knight of wands whoa here we have the three of coins you're you're also very good at um focusing on your work it's almost like I feel like here you admired them for doing that and it's like I I feel like you guys inspire each other and here we have the Page of Wands. So, I think you're um, also thinking of reaching out to them, maybe. But you can't decide here. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the Page of Wands. Get the message, get communication. Something's starting here. Okay, so now, what lessons are they learning? Through all this. What's going on here? We have the Judgment. Oh, I got the wrong deck here. Sugar. Okay. 
Okay, they they are learning. I want to do it the right way, though. I don't want to mess my cards up. Okay, they are learning um, how um, to maybe decide on something. Let's go through this again. See if the judgment comes up again. Okay, what lessons are they learning? Let's see. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. So this person is learning how to make their own happiness and move away from things that do not serve them so they can get to their happiness. They might be actually moving. And they're also, I think they might want to come to you with their cup here. But I think they're getting up the courage to leave what does not make them happy to go to what makes them happy. They're getting the courage. Look at that, the lion. Wow, that's strength. That's the lion. That's Leo. Okay, so now we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, they want to come to and make an offer to you. And they might have been, you know, th I'm thinking here that with this, they're they're learning that they held back from you. Didn't they did not open up? Now they need to come towards you and open up about this because they kept things back. They didn't open up, and they're learning. That's not a good way, but they also are learning that you know when things aren't right, just get the hell out. Don't keep on staying in a place that's bad. Okay, what about this um star? Why is the star here? Okay, six of pentacles. They're learning how to be more balanced, to be fair. I don't think they were fair before. I don't think they gave enough to you. Maybe they breadcrumbed you. Okay, what about this Six of Swords? Oh, the High Priestess tapping into their intuition. They might be studying some kind, um, some kind of spiritual energies or something. They're, 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 this is Virgo Cancer energy. They're, they're, they seem like they're tapping into their intuition. It's helping them. And they're learning how to focus on something here, work with something, maybe be on a team or to want to be with, on a team with you. And then we have the Empress here. Financial abundance, um, creativity. This person's getting more creative. I think, I think you're like the muse though. I feel like they think about you and it helps them to be more creative. This could also represent someone that's pregnant or it could be giving birth to something new, some, anything new, a business, a job. A career or anything a new way of being okay now what are your hidden desires let's see here what are your hidden desires you want to work on a new beginning with this person and get rid of these burdens. Aries and Aquarius for the fool. And yeah, and you're you're learning how to manifest. I think you guys are both like getting really into your spirituality and learning more things. And for me, the magician is um, Aries and Aquarius. But you're learning how to do this. Okay. Let's see. Why do we have the Eight of Pentacles here? Ah. Because someone felt left out in the cold. So you're learning how to work on something. So you don't have to feel like this loss. This emptiness. This abandonment. Okay, now why is a fool here? Ooh, we got the magician. Okay. You are definitely manifesting a new beginning here. And we have the five of wands. And you're putting... You're getting away from this burden of these other people interfering in your life. Or whoever's causing you havoc here. This is competition or this is, I feel like it's just annoying people that are just, need to grow up. And here we have the Five of Cups. A lot of regret, a lot of remorse. You know, it's like, I think you're, you know, like you're putting down these burdens. Even people are going to be upset with you or, you know, you're feeling this loss. You're trying to build something here. That's why you got the Magician here twice. You're going to do it. Okay, now, their hidden desires. What are their hidden desires? We have... Ooh, their hidden desire is you. This is definitely your energy. Male or female, it does not matter. They, but they see you as very loving and nurturing. Look at this big open heart. And let's see, Queen of Cups. Yeah, this person is, is looking down at their cup and saying, I, I want to get Scorpio here. I'm really into Scorpio. They're contemplating what to do here. And um, here we have the Ace of Wands. A lot of passion and desire. And they want marriage. They want commitment. It's weird because you have that up here for them. 
So, and wasn't that, oh my gosh, wasn't that the same thing? Oh yeah, I think we had, whoa, we had that heart event right next to the Ace of Wands, didn't we? Oh my god, how is this happening? Then we had the Queen of Swords for you about them, but they're seeing you as a Queen of Cups, but I had you as a Queen of Cups here. And somewhere along the line, we had Queen of Cups compared to for them. Thinking of you. Yeah, they definitely feel that you are the Queen of Cups. They want this Taurus energy here. They want this commitment. And also, here we have the independent single card, which came up over here. You guys are definitely on the same page here. Wow. Okay, let's clarify. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they want a victory with you. They want to make sure that this works out. What about this Ace of Wands? You guys are mirroring each other like crazy. Wow. They're not sure how to do this, though. They want to try to make this work, but they want to make sure they do it right. Ah, wow. Look at these cards copying. Yeah. They know that there's competition for you. Mm, but they had desire you. This is them coming in as a king of wands, wanting their queen of cups. They have a lot of passion and desire for you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the um, king of wands. Okay, so now your conscious desires. What, what fell out here? Oh, victory. <laughs> You're copying each other like crazy. There's a mirroring going on. Like, it's unbelievable. You guys want the same thing. Okay. Let's see. Victory. Fighting off the competition. Wow. And also, your conscious desire is to be independent of this person, but be with them. So that I feel that they're very strong. You have to be your own person. You can't be um, part of them. And you have options, though. You have choices. You have options. Okay. Now, why do we have the six of wands here? Ooh. This is going to move. There's victory coming towards you really quick here. Eight of wands. Wow. And four of cups. So you have options. You're not sure about this, bro. But I know you guys both, I can feel this energy. You've got, both of you guys want each other. Okay, and yeah, here's commitment. You want to be uh, independent, but be connected to them. Be in a commitment with them. Okay, we have the Page of Cups. Okay, so you might want to either, I don't know who's going to go first, but you both want to go towards each other. So Page of Cups, Scorpio Cancer, Pisces Energy. Let's see. Let's get a charm on this. And we have... Oh, we have the crown. So this is like royal status. This is achieving whatever you want to achieve here. This, you're, You have the crown here. That's amazing. Okay, so... Scorpio Cancer, Pisces. Um, let me get this. Page of Cups. Yeah, so you might want to go towards them with a... Um, Apology for some of you. Not gonna be for everyone. Some of you might want to apologize or something. Okay, so now their conscious desires. What is going on with them? Let's see. Woof! <laughs> I can't believe this. Whoa. King of Swords. They want to talk. I think they want to make sure that you know that the They'll, you know, they're not going to try to tie you down or try to, um, you know, take away your independence. But they want to be with you. Want to speak the truth here. Okay, King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, um, Libra. We have see a very faithful a dog here, a, a true friend, faithful, uh, unconditional love. Is that okay? Let's see, King of Swords, and also Sagittarius energy. Bouncing without being patient. Whoa, we got the King of Pentacles too. Wow. Okay. Did we have we have the King of Pentacles, King of Wands, King of Swords? Did we have the King of Cups here at all? I, you had the King of Cups for them, I think. I don't want to move all these things, but I think you did. 
So that would be the Emperor. Empress already came out. So, yeah, this person... Well, I still got to clarify this. Okay, so all these kings are coming out. This person is um got their stuff together. Wow. This is a nice um connection here. It's, um... If you guys been apart for a long time, you did really both to dwell on your own. See, that's the whole thing why you don't want anything to get messed up here. You don't want to lose that. Okay, let's see here. Why do we have this Nine of Pentacles? Okay. Here was an ending here that gave me this person some independence. So maybe they branched out on their own. Maybe they got fired from a job or something. And um, then they started their own business. Because this person seems like they might be having their own business. They're above the rest here. Wow, you guys are so copying each other. So they stand out. People notice them. And they're protecting whatever they already achieved. Okay, the temperance. Whoa, two of swords trying to make a decision here. And the hierophant again. They, this person wants this commitment with you. Could be dealing with Taurus. Could be any sign though here. Um, okay, so now. Okay, I could just put something on this King of Pentacles. I'm finished with this side now. We have. Okay. Oh, we have an airplane. So they might be planning to travel to you. No matter how the distance. Could be a long distance or it could be short. It's just this airplane will represent traveling. Okay, so now. The King of Swords. Aquarius. I'm not Queen of Swords. Oh my God. See? I'm dying so punchy. Okay, the King of Pentacles. What did I just drop? knock something over okay so um Taurus Virgo Capricorn all right now um I need to do the middle okay let's see here what binds you two together what binds you let's see ah uh, see there's a very strong spiritual connection and also, some of you might be, um, there might be a secret that you sh share together. But um, also, this is something hidden, something mysterious. Uh, this is Virgo Cancer Energy, the High Priest. But I think you have a very strong spiritual connection. And this ending, something ending bind, bound you because you also, you have an ending of this connection. But you also have, you both want this ending to come back around here. With the death card here. Ending, new beginning, transformation. Wow. Um, and Scorpio, that's your card too. You get a charm. Oh, I might get a charm on that. I don't know why I was going to do that. Okay. The Emperor. Wow. Yeah, the Emperor came up. The Empress came up. I think you guys are a power couple. I think you guys really could be awesome together. Okay, now... Very you guys are like on the same page. It's unbelievable. You're definitely on the same page. You think that I think you guys could probably finish each other's sentences. It's like that close to and even if you haven't seen each other forever. Why is the high priestess here? Whoa, well, yeah, the six of cups. There's you know what? The high priestess with the six of cups, you had many lifetimes together. That's why you guys are so close, and that's why you guys feel so deep. Okay, what about this um, Ten of Swords? Page of Cups. Yeah, you both want to apologize for this ending. I don't, you know, it might have been something that just happened or something that you guys weren't ready for. Or if you are a twin flame, you're supposed to part so you can come back together. And I don't think either one of you feel like you hold each other accountable, really. It's like something that just was, maybe you're just too young. Here we have the Starfish. Something to do with the sea or something about, um, I feel like this would stick. If you guys come back together, it would stick. Get the Page of Cups here. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay. Look, Temperance. Trying to balance things out. Sagittarius, Energy. Why do we have Death card here? Why is the Death card here? Ah, the Hermit. You guys go deep. Really deep. I think, I don't know if you, I'm feeling the energy of, with the high priestess, the hermit keep on coming up here, the hierophant. There's a very strong spiritual connection. And also, I don't know, you might both be very intuitive. 
this is Ver, uh, vermin <laughs> virgo i was gonna say hermit and hermit and virgo and then i say vermin i did that a few times already it's a vermin <laughs> okay oh i'm so punchy okay and here's the sun happiness the happiest card in the deck wow wow boy <laughs> okay now current challenges what are the challenges here for you guys what are the current challenges Ooh, this is other people um maybe someone was given to two people and now they're trying to balance out and that's a challenge or it's kind of hard because of maybe lack of funds someone you guys someone feels trapped you probably both feel trapped maybe there's something where you can't move right now but this energy right here does does feel like some outside um troublemakers they they're happy that you guys split up i don't like that and we have the king of pentacles this also could be a challenge maybe it's money or maybe someone's holding someone's money or it could be something about bank or a loan king of pentacles um could also represent is some kind somebody in finances Taurus Virgo Capricorn okay let's clarify why do we have the five of swords here why is the five of swords here Ooh, the queen of wands okay this could be a karmic this could be someone starting trouble this could be the one that's gossiping spreading lies um trying to cause havoc um aries leo sagittarius and might be really smart too we have the owl and also i'm thinking the owl might be working at night doing things at night okay shady dealings or something okay this person might be trying to either take your energy or your or your, uh, male or female it does not matter trying to pull the energy away so that someone's given to two okay let's see why do we have the six of pentacles Ooh. trying to heal this okay so the challenge is trying to heal this so it, there's could be more of an even give and take trying to heal the three of swords which will be a third party situation that broke you guys up could have been someone started trouble oh we have the king of swords okay this is also trying to speak your truth about being stuck here about mentally being conflicted okay Aquarius Libra Gemini also could be a someone trying oh we got the fox okay this is another sneaky behavior then this is um these two could be working together to try to sabotage this connection now it could be both have a uh, love interest there and then maybe they get together in this ten of swords look at this painful ending wow okay but you know what no one could if you guys are truly in love and you want to be together no one's going to stop you that's totally up to you guys so now let's see what about the advice what advice do we have here now Ooh, we got the ten of cups coming in moving away from so you can go to your ten of cups oh yeah this is nice okay you're definitely moving away from this painful energy here and just it's sort of like let it be let them do whatever they're going to do just don't pay any mind to them and then tempers balance things out sagittarius come into a peaceful place of um, finally having peace in this connection here and the star it's like your hopes your wishes dreams come true a happy family life getting married having a, a nice family and leaving these troublemakers behind the sly fox here trying to start some trouble <laughs> Okay, why do we have the Ten of Cups here? Ooh, the lovers. I love it. Gemini energy. This is, you know, I would, I, I'm not even going to say choice here because I think you guys already know you want each other. There is no other. Even people are interested in you, there is no choice. You guys have already decided. They, they could go twiddle to them somewhere. Yeah, they're not getting anywhere. What about the Six of Swords? You guys might be moving together someplace to happy. Yeah, see, moving on from this misery. So you guys might be getting together, maybe moving away, moving in together, getting married, and here with the happiness. Your wishes and dreams are come true because you're leaving away this this waste. This you you both might be leaving your um, partners to be together. Ooh, 
Look at this three of swords. You're going to conquer this three of swords, whatever this is, because you have the star here. And this three of pentacles working together. Here's a partnership coming in together. You guys are doing it. Yay. I like it. I tell you, this was one tough reading to get done today. <laughs> it's like, if I don't do it now, I have to save it for the next day. And I always like to put my groups together. Like, always have the air signs at once. I always like to load them, uh, post them up at the same time. I really didn't think I was going to do this. And I really didn't want to have someone saying, well, what about Scorpio? How come you did the other two? And, uh, yay. <laughs> okay, so now, let's see what the word is. What's the word? What's the word? We're starting with this page of wands. What's going on with this page of wands? We've got a lot of people here. Oh, I got a bunch of these too. Lover. Okay, we got the lover. Important. Ooh, important lover. Desire. Ooh. Caring. Ooh. Wow, so this is an important lover that is caring and desires you. Or you, them, whichever way this goes here for you guys. Okay, or both, I guess. Knight of Wands. Let's see the Knight of Wands. Karma. Oh, sorry, that's Knight of Swords. So karma. Unknown. I'm going to put that on top. Married. Ooh. Someone didn't know someone's married. And now there's some kind of karma coming in. Ooh. Okay. What about the Knight of... Now, remember, take it away. If it resonates, it might be for you, might not. This is a general reading. Okay, so now we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have options. Sex. <laughs> sincere <laughs> okay okay someone has sincere sex options okay uh, okay rearrange if it makes sense to you take it if not then it's not yours okay what about the queen of swords career alone separate okay so maybe i almost feel like I think this is your energy saying, well, you really want to make sure that you keep your career separate. You don't want to, I guess there could be an opportunity where you can work together and you don't want to do that. You want to keep your career and your personal life separate. That could, Now, that's not going to be for everyone, but I got that for that. Page of Cups. Present. Memories. Money. Okay. Now, this could be a present of money. This could be in the present. There's memories of money. Or it could be someone's presenting you with money. <laughs> well, let's see what the money one is. Let's get a clarifier of that. Okay, money. Ooh. Okay, so now this is someone's pickpocketing someone. Someone's stealing someone's money. So maybe someone did that. And maybe someone's bringing it up. In the present, say, you remember when someone stole the money or someone pickpocketed me or I lost money? That could be something like that. Maybe someone's bringing that up. Okay, now, Knight of Wands. Unless some, someone stole money <laughs> from from the other. Could be. Could be. You never know. Okay, what about the Knight of Wands? We have Apology. Single. Likely. Finances. Oh, so yeah, somebody might be apologizing for something about their when they're single or something of finances. Okay, what about the Knight of Swords? A gift. Married. Apart. Hmm. So maybe someone gave someone a gift. Either why you're, you're married or why you're apart. I don't know. I don't know. It might make sense. It might not. <laughs> okay, what about the Queen of Cups? We have fast, jealousy, immature. Okay, so someone maybe quickly gets jealous because they're immature. It happens really quickly. Take if it resonates. Leave if it doesn't. It's not going to be for everyone. Queen of Pentacles, we have Sincere, Sharing, 
truth. Okay, so it feels like you're going to have a back and forth conversation and you're going to actually open up and share the truth. What about the Knight of Wands? Spying. Thinking. Will you? Okay, so someone might have been spying on someone. And now they want to ask someone something, a question of will you? Okay, now what about this Queen of Wands? Feelings. Sexual. Lust. Ooh, this Queen of Wands got feelings of sexual lust. Okay, now what about this King of Swords? See, this is the karmic, though. Ah, that's the karmic in there. Oh, right, this is like, this is the, between you guys. That's right, we're right in the middle here. So there's someone's, there's, you know, maybe, maybe you both got, someone stole money from you. It could be both these people here that took money from you two. Because I was thinking, gee, it didn't feel right about when I was putting it down that either one of you stole money from the other. It might have been these karmics here. Okay, now we have, ooh, third party. Later. Accused. Ooh. So maybe someone, when your karmics accuse you of having third party, but actually they probably did. <laughs> I don't know. But those are the karmics here. The king of swords and the queen of wands, which could be any, any suit. We have very soon committed before. So very soon someone might be committed before something else happens, maybe. I don't know. Don't know. A lot of times I'll put the words down. They don't make any sense to me. And people say, yeah, I know exactly what that means. I say, okay, that's good. That's good. Forget. Message. Oh, a tower. Okay, so there's something shocking that's going to happen here. With the tower, Aries, Scorpio, energy. Some kind of shocking message is about maybe someone forgets something. Or someone wants someone to forget about a shocking message that happened. Okay, now what about the Page of Cups? We have present, freedom, breakup. Okay, so someone might present someone with a pre... No, okay, this could be a present, could be in the present, or it could pre present someone. Freedom, breakup. Oh. Okay, I was thinking that maybe one of these person, but I don't think that either one of these person wants to let you guys go. So I was thinking maybe they'll, I'll give them your freedom and that's the present, but probably not. Okay, and then we have reunite. See, we have the airplane here. Reunite, fear, honest. Okay, so someone has a lot of fear. They're very honest about reuniting. Maybe they're afraid it's not going to happen. Oh, I got to do Queen of Swords here. I almost missed skip this one. We have, oh, another tower. Aries Scorpio energy. Surprise, too, on top of it. TikTok. Okay. Someone feels like they're running out of time. So someone might surprise you out of the blue. They might be waiting too long, and then all of a sudden they're just going to show up. Which I do feel like this person's planning on that. Please with that airplane and then seeing that. This person might just show up. Okay, now let's see what signs you can begin with. Yeah, where am I going to put these? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, let's see. What signs do we have here for Scorpio? What are the signs? Leo. Cancer. Cancer. Sagittarius. Capricorn and Scorpio. Okay, so this is placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, and future. Leo, Cancer, Cancer, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Scorpio. Now for the letters. We'll do 11 letters. Initials, first name, last name. If you get both the first and last name, someone has a middle name, you know the middle name, get that initial also. All the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have Y, H, E, N. Oh, we have Hen. N, P, F, A, U, I, E. 
Okay, so the letters we have for you today are Y-H-E-N-N-P-H-A-U-I-E. -N -N now for 11 more names. Let's see what names want to come. What are the names? Let's see. Ooh. Okay, I think I have enough. What are the names here for Scorpio? What are the names? Look what a mess I made. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my golly. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, you know what? I don't want to waste time here. Okay, let's see. We have Devin, D-E-V-I-N, Clara, C-L-A-R-A, -A, Rachel, spelled R-A-E-C-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, Cheryl, S-H-E-R-Y-L, Philan, P-H-E-L-A-N, Stella, Tyler, Andrew, Anazel, A-N-I-S-E-L, Janine, J-E-A-N-I-N-E, -E, Stephanie, Austin, and Joanna. Okay, so what do I have here? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, guys, so those are the names. All right. Now, remember, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. And um, if it does not resonate, then check out your other placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. And if it does resonate, you could check out your other placements. And people have been noticing they really get a lot more information if you check out all the placements. And put the whole story together. And it'll blow your mind. Okay, now remember, just take the parts that resonate. Leave the parts that don't because it is a general reading. May the words will resonate. May they won't. Maybe if it's confusing, then it's not yours. If it, as soon as I put down the words for something, I don't, they don't make sense to me, but they make sense to you. Hey, that was meant for you to know. I don't need to know. Okay? I love you guys so much. And I really appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.